This is the Precision Matthews PM712G bandsaw. We've used this in our gunsmithing shop for years now. In this video, I want to give you an overview of the machine and show you it in action. Hey guys, Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. If you're running a rifle barrel shop, you're going to need a metal cutting bandsaw like this. We cut down most of our barrel blanks to length prior to putting them on the lathe. And this PM712G bandsaw from Precision Matthews gets used correspondingly on almost every barrel job that we do. And I think this machine is an ideal blend of capacity, capability, and quality. This is a Taiwanese machine. In contrast to Chinese machines, I have one of those, I started with it. Uh, definite step up in quality. Uh, so this has a one horsepower motor. It has a three speed gearbox. If we turn the machine on, you can have the coolant running or turn that off separately if you don't need the coolant. Changing speeds is really easy. You might have to jiggle the blade a little bit by hand while you turn the selector lever. And it's just that easy. I'm gonna put it back on one here because that's what we use for stainless steel. There we go. So there's three different speeds. You've got 125 feet per minute, You've got 215 feet per minute and 270 feet per minute. This machine also has hydraulic downfeed, and there's two controls here. When you go to set this up, what you want to do is turn the fine adjust all the way down and then open the valve completely. And then basically you'll kind of, with the loosening motion, get it to where you want it uh, in terms of downfeed in the open air, and then you can shut it off with the valve lift it, and then you can lift the valve all the way and not have to fiddle with it. I'm gonna give it a little bit more, probably right about there, that's probably fine. Okay, so hydraulic downfeed, great capability to have. Uh, in terms of capacity, uh, we can do seven inch round at 90 degrees, we can do seven by 10.6 or 2.5 by 12, all at 90 like I've got it here. If we move it over to 45 degrees, that takes our round capacity down to 4.3 inches, or we could cut a 7x3.3 or a 5.5x4.3, depending on the proportions of the rectangular cross section. Adjustable blade tension right here. Uh, we've got a two gallon coolant tank. Our blade size for this is gonna be three quarters of an inch wide, 35 thousandths thickness, and 93 inches in length. Now I've used this to cut four inch round aluminum for making a lathe spider. I just cut a whole bunch of angle iron at 45 degrees for uh, tool trays for the new lathe that we've got up at the mountain shop and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, but what we do by far the most, as I mentioned, is barrels. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is to use and how effective it is for cutting barrels. So I'm just gonna put the barrel here. We're, we'll kind of cut the uh, shank area where the threaded tenon is. What I like to do is put, got those in backwards, put shims in place here to account for the taper of the barrel. Now this has a really nice vise feature. If you loosen the vise a few turns, you can just take the other vise jaw, move it into place, and then when you tighten it, it engages and it'll clamp down. Make sure that's clamped plenty good. Turn on our coolant. We'll ease it down to where we're going to start cutting and let it rip. So you notice the machine turns itself off automatically. There we go. We've cut our barrel down. That's just a quick example of cutting a barrel to length. Of course, if you're doing the smaller diameter muzzle end, it's going to go a lot faster than that. So regardless of whether you're cutting something big or cutting something small, a quality bandsaw is going to be a great capability for any fabrication, gunsmithing, or barrel shop. I know this PM712G has been a great capability in our shop. And like I said, I use it all the time. So that's it, a quick sort of long-term update and overview of the PM712 
G bandsaw from Precision Matthews. Now I will note, there's a couple accessories that I don't have shown here. The first is there's a work stop that comes with the machine so that if you're cutting things to the same length, you can use that work stop to position the work real quickly, not have to measure each time. Also, if we flip the saw into the vertical mode, you can swap out this plate here for a vertical table that comes with the saw to do vertical bandsaw uh, procedures and cuts, that kind of thing. So this is a very versatile saw. If you're looking for a high quality Taiwanese saw, this is definitely one to consider. What I'd like to know is what bandsaw are you running in your shop? Are you running a PM712G or something else? Please drop a comment and share your experiences. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.